Hey guys, let's do in this lesson, let's uh, draw the bully line and let's see the difference between line, ordinary line and poly line. So for example, if we use a line like this and draw like this, tick, 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 okay, then click on escape and poly line like this, tick, 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 okay, like this. What the difference between them? You can see that in line, if you click on any of these, you can see you just select one line of these lots of line. However, in poly line, if you click on any, you are selecting the whole shape. This is very important. Why? Because in some in electrical engineering or in electrical drawing we could have a building that I would like to see its area. So I will go like this, I will use a polyline and go like this, go like this for a certain building. Okay, like this, this, this. Let's say this is our area, okay, for this building. So if you right click and go to properties like this, you can see down here the area of this figure, okay. According, of course, this large value is dependent on the units inside the program. If it is in millimeter, then it will be divided by 1000 or this is a very large scale in general. So neglect this in any way. You can get the area of the building by doing this trick. Okay, by using polyline. So, so polyline is very important in um, our electrical systems or electrical drawings. For example, we can use it in lighting, uh, lightning design, lightning design or lightning protection design because the area of the roof or area of the building will be very important in the risk assessment of the building. You will learn about this in uh, our course for lightning protection. Okay, so we talked about polyline. Let's see the option that we have. So that's the first slope point in polyline. You can see we have arc, half, width, length, uh, undo, width. So again, like this, you can see undo, which we learned before, like this, it will reverse or uh, undo the last action. Great. What about arc? And instead of having this line, we can click on arc. To have an arc like this, like this, have an arc, an arc like this, okay? If I would like to get back to line, simply go like this and click on line, like this, okay? That is the first uh, thing that we have in, um, in this one. Okay, um, uh, poly. TOL again, or oh, this is polygon, um, like this. Okay, now we have width and length, okay, and half width. So let's start with width. What does this mean? You can see this line, and this line has a certain width, right? Certain width. Okay, so we can control the width of this line by using the width here. So if I click on width here, and it will say, you can see here, we start with a certain width and we end at a certain width. Okay, someone will tell me, hey, what does this mean? Okay, if you say width equal to zero, for example, as a starting point, and the end width of this line will be, let's say, 2.5, like this, and we click on enter. You will see what will happen. Nothing changed if you go if you zoom in like this. Let's just zoom in. You can see the change like this. Okay, you can see we started with zero width and we ended at width equal to two. So if we like this and skip. So you can see zero width, and then we have width of two meters, or depending on uh, 2.5 meter inside or depending on the unit we used in the program okay if we draw another polyline like this uh, polyline p line 
you can see it still have the same width that we talked about okay however this time width is equal to length so what i'm going to do is if, if i would like to return it to the original we will make it zero and zero like this so we return it back to the original polyline okay great let's delete all of this and polyline once more like this however this time we'll see the lens what does the lens do it is completely useless you can see here 50 if i say 50 like this and enter it will give you a lens of line equal 50 right the same idea if you click on lens here and say 50 like this it will give you 50 inside the same uh, direction so if you go like this 50 like this you can see it gives you 50 at the same direction as that i specified so if i go like this and say 30 like this and enter it will give you line in the same direction okay that is the benefit of lens okay Okay, so in this lesson, we learned about the polyline and how to do it.